our last video in our 2014 favorite series. So today I'm just going to be talking about eyebrow and eyeshadow products. Um, let me start with brow products and this is something that's familiar to a lot of people. It is the Intuit um, eyebrow powder and it comes in three colors so you can use this to customize just how light or dark you want your eyebrows to be or you can use it for um, creating that 3D eyebrow look that's quite popular now so like darker on the outsides and um, lighter on the insides and uh, for only 300 pesos this is a very um, uh, bang for your buck type of product because I've been using this nearly every day since I purchased it and it looks like I hardly made a dent still. So the best way to apply this is using an angled brow or a liner brush. So another uh, brow product I really enjoyed using in 2014 is the K Palette uh, Lasting Two-Way Eyebrow. So it has a pen type nib on one end which has liquid and on the other end it's a sponge tip with uh, powder on it so if you like a very natural look but want a product that stays put the whole day then this is a really good one um, like if you're going to the beach or to the gym and just want something to um, fill in your eyebrows and make them last for several hours and this is a really popular product for uh, doing that so I've mentioned this uh, brow product in one of my previous monthly favorites videos. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And this is the most uh, waterproof product I've ever tried, ever, because it lasts even through snorkeling. Can you imagine? Like you're wearing a mask and it still lasts after that, and after being in the water. So um, the only thing about this uh, brow pomade is that it's uh, the texture is like a gel eyeliner for your eyebrows. So you have to be really careful um, when you're applying this uh, so that you don't create a really harsh line or um, apply too much product. You only need a very small amount and a very light hand to use this one. So the only other affordable palette that I really enjoyed using um, last year was the... Maybelline Eye Studio Quad. This one is in the color uh, Give Me Gold and I think I used this also in a previous uh, tutorial. So uh, these are really good um, quality for the price. Um, they're very buttery and blendable and highly pigmented. So even if you just dip your brush like once or twice into these palettes, see? It already deposits a lot of color, so you don't need to use so much. So the only drawback with these um, eyeshadows is that they are very shimmery. So if you don't like shimmers or um, you really prefer matte shadows, then I don't know if you would like using these. But I think they're great if you just want, if you just have maybe a separate, um, just a matte brown or some other matte uh, neutral to go with it. Okay, so the two. Um, higher end eyeshadow palettes I really enjoyed using in 2014 were the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So you've already seen it inside of the Naked 3, so it has mostly like rose gold shades, but there's um, some grayish ones also in here and some purple ones. And um, I do have all three of the Naked palettes, but this is the one that I picked up last year and I used it so much like sometimes I would use it every day for uh, several weeks straight or yeah <laughs> I just I use this one a lot the Too Faced chocolate bar palette is called so because um, of the packaging and it says that it has um, chocolate in its formula so every time I open this palette, it smells like chocolate, so that's really cute. Um, this one has 16 eyeshadows compared to the Naked palettes, which have 12. And it also has these two really large um, shades that are meant for all over the lid or um, your brow bone. But really, you can use all these shadows however way you want. So it has a good combination of neutrals here. And also some pink shades, some purple ones. So. You can create a lot of looks with this palette and I think this is great for people who love uh, neutral colors. 